a bansy fall and you want to have a prancing hence lol and fuv with you, don't forget to slop your dripper. <laughs> That's Archie Campbell, and uh, that's the story of R Rinda Seller. Rinda Seller. 28 minutes after the hour of uh, 10 o'clock at WRC. Confidence. Confidence, one of the key words when you buy your car from Whitey Miller. Yes, you know, you can, you can have confidence in uh, any deal at Whitey Miller Buick over in Rockville. That's for sure. You get the streamlined, beautiful, luxurious comfort, the precision performance, the dependability, and the safety. See and drive for yourself a Buick at Miller Buick. Right. Go on over and talk to Whitey Miller tomorrow. Hi, folks. I'm Whitey Miller. I own Whitey Miller Buick. I run Whitey Miller Buick. I work on Buicks at Whitey Miller Buick. That's the truth. Whitey Miller is the only Buick dealer in the country. Wait a minute. Your mic ain't on. Turn his mic on. Wait. I say Whitey Miller is the only Buick dealer we know in the country who actually services the car. He's I the actually services the car. He owns the dealership. I own the dealership. He's the big I'm head the there. Big he's head. the big cheese. There. Big cheese. And uh, he's the head cheese. And he goes <laughs> down there. <laughs> and uh, he... He actually Trick works. Me, didn't he? Huh? Trick he, me, didn't yeah, he? not much. He goes out and works in the car himself. He's an old grease pit stopper, and he's terrific when he gets hot there with a hammer and uh, you know rubber mallet. I'm a regular John Henry. And he's got uh, he's he does karate too, which is great. If you need body work done, yeah, I don't save, have a body shop. You know, he'll save you a lot of. You haven't got much of a body. No, I just well, go up to the car and I go. Hey! And uh, he'll That's beat it back into shape with his I think fist. I hurt myself. And you can see that way you save a lot of money. You know, these skilled mechanics that do but body do I work. I spend a lot on, on uh, Band-Aids. Yeah, <laughs> he's the one with the busted knuckle. And you can't, you can't miss him in the lobby there. He's always walking around smoking these foul cigars and, uh, and uh, you know, breaking Jello boxes open with his fist and everything. But you see Whitey Miller. He is one, one Buick dealer that really cares. Do you care, Whitey? Mm-hmm. You don't care much, though, do you? No. You, otherwise, you wouldn't... Uh, Otherwise, I wouldn't be on this show. Right. <laughs> he's not that particular. And he's an opal dealer, too. That's another thing. He smuggled opals into this country. Opal's Laverne. She dances in Baltimore. Uh, yeah, the opal is a little German car. It's a wonderful... Made by, I think, our people over there. Or somebody's right. General people. Motors. It's a German Chevrolet. Oh, Bryson. Don't shoot down our sponsors. Oh, Bryson's a Buick driver. You have a Buick, don't you? He has a Buick and a Mercedes. A Opal, a Cadillac, a LaSalle, a Packard. What, has he got his own dealer? Well, he's, uh, listen, he's all right. He's got the... 300 North Washington He's opening Street. a, Bryson's opening an Edsel Rock dealership Hill. in Silver Spring next Monday. And, of course, as Whitey Miller always says... Let me hear one, let me walk one. Give me one from the inside, one from the outside, one from the rear end, and double up on the rooter. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Whitey. Hey, it's 10.30. Hey, Nani Nani. From the WRC NBC Newsroom in Washington Time with the news, Mr. Bryson Rash reporting. Good evening. Republican Congressman William Shirley of Iowa has sent President Johnson a telegram urge cloudy Saturday and Saturday night with chance of snow in the afternoon or at night. High Saturday in the upper 30s, partly cloudy and cold Sunday. At 10 o'clock, the temperature was 32 degrees. The relative humidity, 49%. There's the news. This is Bryson Rash reporting. Thank you so much, Mr. Bryson Rash reporting. Thank you very much, Bryson. Bryson's our favorite newscaster, and of course, Bryson will be going on weekend because he's off Saturday and Sunday. And if it snows tomorrow, I wonder what Bryson will do all day while it's snowing. He'll probably, uh, wonder what he'll just uh, sit around the house and, uh, you know, I guess. Uh, yeah. Oh, how we look forward to snows. <laughs> 25 minutes before it <laughs> <laughs> 25 minutes before 11 o'clock. Sit there in front of a roaring fire and just pass right out. 25 minutes before 11 o'clock. It's uh, this half hour, we'll warn you, this is the half hour we take you down to WWPU in Sorghum's, West Virginia for some all night picking and singing. So try to join us for that. Right now, 40,000 people a day. 40,000 people a day. Drive a Northman Chevrolet. People who demand savings, people who demand selection, people who demand service, all prefer Oarsman Chevrolet. People just like you. 40,000 people a day, drive an Oarsman Chevrolet. More people buy more cars from Oarsman Chevrolet than from any other dealer selling any make of car. If you want a better trade, better financing, the best deal possible. You want Oarsman Chevrolet. 
4400 Branch Avenue, Marlow Heights, Maryland. Just moments from Beltway Exit 36 North. 40,000 people a day. Drive a, a good idea. You drive an oarsman Chevrolet, will you? Okay. Walker and Scott, the Joy Boys, back in business at 24 until 11 o'clock. By request, here is our friend Arthur Godfrey. Okay? Hot ginger and dynamite. There's nothing but that at night. Oh, I blew it there. I'm back in Haggy Saggy where the fellas shoot a baggy and the women. A wiggy waggy woo. <laughs> All right, Arthur. I haven't done that in a long time. I almost forgot the words. Isn't that too bad? 22 minutes until 11 o'clock. I wish you had. Forgotten the words, yeah. WWPU will be heading down there in a little while. I hope you'll be heading over to Cannon sometime this weekend. We had the great pleasure of having lunch there today, and it was indeed a pleasure. Always is. I love to go to Cannon. They have the best food. Steaks. I didn't have a steak today, though. I had the shrimp, as I think I mentioned earlier. And the clam chowder, which is out of this world. Some of that fresh, dark bread. Some crispy French fries. Oh, it was good. It was good. Didn't even have dessert today. We were in a little bit of a hurry, so we didn't have dessert. Good cup of Cannon's coffee. That was it's good. It's tough to eat dessert when they throw you out yeah, like that. They were, they were so busy. I wanted to wrap! We picked the wrong day to go today. I... It was uh, like, you know, waiting in line for the commissary where they're shooting the uh, Ben-Hur. I've never, thousands, a cast of thousands. The place was packed today. That makes you feel good, though. When you do commercials for a guy, and then you walk into the restaurant, you know, and at lunchtime, they're just jam-packed in there. Nine times out of ten, nobody in the place has ever heard of us. But it still looks good, right? I think it's ten times out of ten. Yeah, ten. <laughs> yeah, I think the only the guy that knew us today was Art Saban. He's there every Friday, yeah, religious. I've never seen anything like out right He's there always the there in the middle of the He's joint. the rug, and you step <laughs> on his uh, back and his stomach uh, growls. But the parking lot attendant knew us, because he, uh, he tried to run us down. I yeah, remember he, uh, that's right. Something about bonsai, and he headed right for us. He said, you're bonsai the clown yeah. or something, didn't he? <laughs> something about bonsai. He yeah. kept screaming bonsai <laughs> as, he, as he ran over me. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Here's an open the day book. You finished? I didn't say where. Well, I guess I did. 1270 on Fifth Street Northeast in the heart of the market. Yeah, go. Here's an open the WRC day book. Uh, the Washington Theater Club's at it again, Ed. Oh. Now, <laughs> behind the hen house. That was a wild bunch now, of you, oh, show folk. You rowdy, know. you know. All that. Uh, can't, never trust an actor. Now, through March 24th, the Washington Theater Club presents a contemporary play of classic proportions. Albert Camus Caligula. Reserve your seats now by calling the Washington Theater Club, 265-4700. Uh-huh. Beautiful. Yes. Thank you. Yes, sir. Looking badly done. 19 and a half until 11 here at WRC, right now. Tommy Garrett and his 75 guitars there, wailing the devil out of them, and... I will wait for you, dedicated to all the women of the audience. Incurable waiters. The time is now 16 and a half before 11 o'clock at WRC Radio. Walking Scott, the Jolly Boys, from good old WRC, in the middle of your thing, right here on radio. And we have a word now about the New York Hilton. Ladies, 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 next time your husband comes to New York on business, remind him that for only $5 more per night, he can have a double room at the New York Hilton. I'll bet he didn't know that. And you know what he can do? He can bring you along, you rascal. The New York Hilton is New York's newest, most modern skyscraper hotel. With a picture window view of Central Park and the lower Manhattan skyline from your beautiful air-conditioned room. In the summertime, it's air-conditioned. In the wintertime, they turn a little heat on. Luxury touches include television, automatic ice maker, an instant massage system, a message system in every room. Downstairs, there's a beauty salon, a boutique, and gift shoppy, a promenade of international restaurants, a Dutch coffee house, everything to pamper you and extend a Hilton welcome and you'll enjoy shopping on Fifth Avenue strolling in Central Park touring Rockefeller I Center strolling in the park one day ta -ta -ta. in the very merry month of May ta -ta -ta -ta. Radio Most City Musical my pocketbook ta -ta -ta. Away. <laughs> <laughs> Central Park in the dark ta -ra. Ta -ra. The Theater District, the Lincoln Center. I keep getting that in the leg every time you do that. I wish you'd kick it the other direction. <laughs> what are you talking about? And the museums are only a few... 
museum. <laughs> Museums are only a few blocks from a hotel. Oh, yes. So that you can study the history uh, of yesteryear. The, uh, All of this at the New York Hilton. Isn't that wonderful, yes. sir? Don't you oh. enjoy your suite up there? Uh, the Hilton? <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that fun to go to New York? <laughs> isn't that laughs? <laughs> Isn't that fun in New York? And now you are in your little, your little room in the Hilton watching Bugs Bunny at 12 o'clock every Saturday. Isn't that fun? So the next time your husband comes to New York on business, watch him. I mean, uh, pack two bags instead of one and join him. Who am I supposed to take with her? <laughs> take your wife. and en enjoy. She's one bag. That's yeah. What I'm oh, yeah. Well, carry your bag, mister. And I'll let her walk. Uh, have fun at the Hilton. For information and reservations, call this local number here in Washington. 483-3000 is the local number. You got that? 483-3000. No toll on this, no now. No toll on no this. No, sir. For whom the bill tolls. 14 minutes until 11 o'clock at WRC. WWPU, we're going down there in just a few minutes. Don't I go away. I hope we do something in a few minutes. Here's Louis Armstrong. And no time is a good goodbye. Announcing a major breakthrough in meat packaging. Now you can see both sides of a steak, roast, or package of pork chops before you buy. Yeah, hold it, hold it. What's this breakthrough stuff? Now at consumers' super value supermarkets, all meats are packaged on clear plastic see-through trays. Now you can see both sides before you buy. A major breakthrough in meat packaging. Now why don't you call it a major see-through in meat packaging? Because it's a major breakthrough. You see, consumer supermarkets are the only supermarkets that use clear plastic see-through meat trays in all their stores. Yeah, I still think you should call it a major see-through. I mean, why beat around the bush? Major see-through. Hey, I've got an idea. Yeah, what? How about a major break you? Ooh. Uh, is that nice? Hit him in the shovel. Hey, listen, friends, the nicest thing about shopping at consumer supermarket is their first <laughs> choice USDA choice value trim meats packaged on clear plastic see-through trays. See both sides of meat before you buy. There are 18, 18 consumers around the Beltway. Shop and save at the Consumer Super Value Supermarkets in your neighborhood. In Annandale, shop Consumer's newest store on Little River Turnpike at Back Lick Road. All righty, it's just about that time here. Ten and a half to eleven. Time for us to bake the big switch to WWPU. Friends and neighbors, just proud to have you all with us tonight, and welcome to the all-night country music, picking in the singing jamboree from the country music capital of the world, WWPU, Sorghum, West Virginia. This is your old coffee drinking night owl, hoot for my brother, no, say knock it off down there, will you? Howdy, friends and neighbors, and bless your hearts, I want to say a great big fat hello to Hilda Hathaway, who lives she over... Makes, she wears shirts, don't she? Yes, she does. Has a One patch over her eyes. Yes, that's right. She's a part-time parrot. Pirate. Pirate. I yeah. want to say Hilda lives in Hagerstown, Maryland. Wonderful. Bless Hilda your heart. Bless us, Hagerstown. Bless her. Everything about her. Hilda sent us a wonderful homemade tape recording of her and her sister thumping an eggplant. And <laughs> it's wonderful. San we, Antonio Rose they were thumping yes. on there. Yeah. We sent this recording of Hilda and her sister thumping the eggplant to the tune of San Antonio Rose down to Nashville, Tennessee, and I understand that Chet Atkins got a hold of it and ate it before uh, he could listen to it. So, uh, would you, if you, it, just in send case... Send us another. Yes, get another eggplant and thump it, yeah. and thump out anything you want to on it and send it to us, because sure. that's a wonderful idea, and you never can tell what's going to happen. We just might make you a star yet. Our first sponsor tonight is Martha Miller's Gastronomic Thriller Surprise Packages. Now, this is... Uh, a wonderful surprise package of rural rapture awaiting you. That's right, folks. Martha Miller has a meat packaging plant down in Hogwaller, Tennessee. And Martha Miller, as you know, sells the finest choice cuts of U.S. meat. But also, friends, with every cow, there's always a little extra left over. And consequently, we package all these surprise goodies up into surprise packages. Mm. And this... This is the way to fill your freezer, your garage, the back of your LaSalle, anything with a wonderful surprise package of rural meats. Here's, a, here's an unsolicited testimonial from Mr. R.B. of Bent Twig, South Carolina, who writes in to tell us, he says, What a thrill when I received your surprise package of 200 pounds of sow belly. Imagine the amazing look on your face when that postman walks up 
into your house, drag in that plastic sack of 150, 200 pounds of sow belly, and says, here, sign here, please, lady. Just send 298 to fill her up, WWPU, Sorghum's, West Virginia. <laughs> Methodist. <laughs> okay, there's another one there for you. <laughs> oh, that's a wonderful tune. Yeah. That's a wonderful tune. I want to thank the record distributor for wrecking this Cadillac out in the parking lot and dropping that one out when the trunk opened that's up. That's right. Ooh. Now, our final sponsor tonight is kindly old Aunt Fanny's Time Savers for work Granny. Savers. Oh, I'm, I didn't read that right. You, you do it. One. All right. No, I just... Kindly old Aunt Fanny's Work Savers for Granny. <laughs> There's another one of them electronic inv inventions that's going to revolutionize the world. It's a transistorized set of knitting needles. You want to tell them how it works? Well, I don't know. How do you work? Not very often. Well, I yeah. noticed that. Don't, you don't have to advertise that. Your wife called. Your third one. She yeah. wants to know where the check is this month. Well, she's home. <laughs> oh, the check. Oh, yeah. 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 The check is in the music yeah, library. Right. Oh, hi. Yes. Kindly old Aunt Fred is work saver for Granny. These are indeed, folks, wonderful, marvelous new inventions, transistorized, battery-operated knitting needles. You can knit one and purl to a thousand strokes in 30 seconds. It's wonderful. And Freddie's knitting her life away. Keep up with it sitting there. there. Just remember our slogan, right? Yeah, what is our slogan? <laughs> if you can hang on, you can knit. <laughs> Send two dollars and ninety-eight cents to darn it all, WWPU, <laughs> Sorghum's, West Virginia. Gotta go now. That's it. Yeah, the old buckboard just fell off the. Uh... Where's Lazy Luther? <laughs> I don't know. He, gonna he be? was here for rehearsal. <laughs> oh, you mean on the troop? Yeah. Lazy Luther and the Sugarloaf Mountain Boys next Monday night will be at the Sulphur and Molasses Mixing for Cousin Gertrude Spring Tonic at Stumblebum, West Virginia. Next Wednesday afternoon, Lazy Luther and the Sugarloaf Mountain Boys will be at the Hair Conditioner's Pre-Summer Seminar at Rabbit City, Iowa. Ah, that's cool. Uh, oh, Hair Conditioner. Uh, <laughs> next Friday night, Lazy Luther's going to be at Moose's Better Mousetrap Manufacturing Company at Ratfink, Tennessee. And finally, next Saturday night, Lazy Luther and the Sugarloaf Mountain Boys will be at the big British sports car race at Four on the Floor, England. <laughs> so we hope they'll all be over there to see Lazy Luther and his show of great strength. Bless yeah. your hearts. We love you. Thanks for holding We got to use this five-day pad this week, so yeah. it's going to be a show of great strength. We'll be back with you next week. Oh, we're coming off, sir. We'll see you now. Bye-bye. We love you. Take it easy. We'll see you. We are the Joy Boys of Radio. We chase electrons to and fro. We are the Joy Boys of Radio. We chase electrons to and fro. Uh, that's it well, that's my part. I want to thank our director, Marco Polo. Don't forget this every week. And our script writer, Daryl, what's his name? You left him out. Yeah. Uh, Leo the Lionheart. No, Richard the Richard Lionheart. <laughs> Thanks, sir. There's Richard the, the chicken heart. Yeah. Thanks. Our script writer, Queen Isabella. Oh, it's a sick bunch. And our lawyer, Clarence Darrelly. They lost another one. I tell uh, you good night to uh, whoever it is. Arthur, our engineer. Oh, what's his name? And hello to Hanoi Hickman. And don't forget Nelson, wherever he yeah, was. Yeah, don't forget that. Come on, will you please play the chorus? No, man. Hi, this is Bob Private Navy of Sergeant O'Farrell Hope, the last of the frustrated gypsies. I wasn't brought into the world by a stork like most kids were. I came tourist. I don't uh, believe oh. it. I don't believe it. Oh, Mr. Willie, we're going to eat tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The Formosan jit bug. It's just... <laughs> we just got a 300-course dinner from the, looks like the Moon Palace, is it? The Moon Palace. Get Eddie Gallagher over here. He can breathe on us. <laughs> I'm telling you. Good night, Nelson, wherever you are. Breath of Wong really here. Oh, some... look at that. Here's a pound and a half of one-ton soup. And, uh, mm. Edward, this is all yours, baby. <laughs> well, we're all going to eat tonight. Oh, this is wonderful. My I think like an old hot bag of Chinese food. <laughs> Marked Rush Viet Cong. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is too much. Anybody want some spare ribs? What do we got in here? Some Everything. shrimps? Emperor shrimps? Yeah, that's what I got Isn't here. This I'm nice? eating my plate right here so I can eat my shrimp here. <laughs> we got more plugs on this show tonight than Art Brown lost up at uh, <laughs> Shenandoah Downs. He's, he's sending over a barbecued canary from one of his old shows. <laughs> <laughs> 
him and uh, Milton Ford's parents, you know? <laughs> Which is still in yeah. that other restaurant yeah. down there, yeah. Milton yeah. Ford's parents president of the union now, you know that? <laughs> Birds start at the bottom. And <laughs> you see one of the name of Penny Singleton. Yeah. Penny. <laughs> Bumstead, you idiot. <laughs> we ought to do a couple more spots, Mark. Uh, since we've promoted the uh, the Moon Palace, which is a lovely Chinese restaurant, why don't we tell them about the Old Sty? That's one of our favorite haunts. That's a good uh, place, yes. Isn't it? Of course it is. <laughs> if I say it's good, it's good. <laughs> right? <laughs> Ah, the Olstein, 1339 Connecticut Avenue Northwest in the heart of the Tell Oil and Spiegel, where they specialize in delicious German food. Sour... I am from the Rudolph <laughs> Just walk in the floor over me. That's right, friends, the old swine is still in business after 21 golo, glorious and golden years. Been hanging around that crowded broadcast house. I'm lo losing my lip. But anyway, the old Stein is open till 2 o'clock in the morning if you like Michelob, Lohenbrau, and Heineken's on draft. And if you're crazy about German food, sour Sauerbraten, potato pancakes, Wiener schnitzels, candied yams, hog jowls, <laughs> peanut butter soup. Well, that's the other place. It? <laughs> it's great. The menus are made out of all copies of my town. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for those of you who like novelty acts, we might remind you that uh, Stella and her magic accordion. Is that right? Next no. week, Eva Braun on a split <laughs> week. <laughs> Peggy and her accordion there. Yeah. And Warner Kennedy and his piano. Of course, Warner hurt himself. He's been trying to lift his piano up under his chin like Peggy, and uh, it just hasn't worked out. But, uh, Mark, you'll be interested in knowing. <laughs> yes, tell us about it. <laughs> I'd leave that one alone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this week, they're having the uh, Attila the Hun lookalike contest. Is that a if, fact? If you're hairy and have a big horn in your head, just go on in there. <laughs> If you look anything like Adela, <laughs> go on by. I know about right? six guys that qualify for that. <laughs> Our whole sales staff. Yes. <laughs> 1339 Connecticut Avenue. Oh, man. All former sponsors of the Joy Boys yeah. tonight. How come the ones that aren't on the show send up stuff? The Shoreham sent up Russell. Sammy Wong sent over a 14-course Romanian dinner, which Maury Siegel is going to digest immediately following our show. <laughs> and our own sponsors haven't sent us a thing. How's that? Except the bill. <laughs> and a cancellation or two. Oh, man. Hmm. Twelve and a half minutes in front of nine o'clock, and don't forget, tomorrow morning on the first fortune phone call on the Al Ross Show, we're up now to $140. So be listening shortly oh, after wonderful. 8 o'clock. I can hardly wait for that one. Al Ross might be calling you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, you got a record in there, Leroy. Let's play a little music and get the troops regrouped here. What do you say? We still have a Don Pedro getting another restaurant account yet. <laughs> Let's give him, give him room to breathe there. Okay. <laughs> Spray some of that sex appeal on the announcement. <laughs> yeah. On the Joy Boys uh, thing here for Wednesday night, I'm completely out of uh, kilter. I don't know, but we're having fun. And it's awfully nice when all your friends come down. Ask the psychiatrist. Are we having fun, guys? Yeah, doctor. Huh? Tell us we, we're having fun. Are we having a good time, doctor? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, this would cost me $25, $30 an hour. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're charging me for coming down here. I don't know. Where do you get Russell's bill? He don't work cheap no more. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went to them. They give green stamps now, too. Well, listen, I've got my central charge card, so we can use that, can't we? Your central charger card is just about as versatile as money and goes almost as many places. Use it to charge a hotel room for dining, shopping, for almost anything. Apply for your card now. Phone 783-7800. Central Charge Service, a subsidiary area of the Riggs National Bank of Washington. Your traveling companion is your central charge of card. Central charge of card. Mm-hmm. Nine minutes in front of nine at WRC News on the hour at nine o'clock. Well, Mark, we have another client uh, that I know you'll be interested in. See because what you can do with this one, Mark. <laughs> yeah, being a suburbanite, as we've discussed, that you are, and of course in your act, you're constantly referring to the suburbs. You get jokes with Annandale and Poolsville, like Bob Hope gets with Anaheim, Azusa, and Cucamonga. But you are a part of the living suburbs. You, you, pl the Playtex living <coughs> suburbs. Yeah, if you want to call that living. <laughs> <laughs> the existing suburbs. We have a client on this show that is perfect for you because being an entertainer and being up there every night on that platform and, uh, you know, making with the jokes and playing the piano and chatting and being uh, uh, the all-round comedian politician, you obviously need a hobby. You need to relax. 
one of the greatest hobbies. Of course, I, I, I know what your hobby used to be before you had the bad heart. But, uh, <laughs> but now you need a more quiet hobby. A quieter? More quieter? Dyer Brothers Paint Store is the one. D-Y-E-R. Dyer Brothers Paint Store. You heard of them, Mark? Yes. Okay, Mark. About 10 seconds ago. <laughs> First time, right? Well, Dyer Brothers has been in business since 1894. Is that right? And <laughs> do you know their famous claim to fame? Uh, they chem-toned the Washington <laughs> Monument. Right, ten dollars in a box of Snickers to him for that one, and painted the purple lines on the New Jersey Turnpike. And they they hit the big time then, and have been growing with leaps and bounds since. Eighteen hundred ninety-four. Do you know who was in the White House then? In eighteen ninety-four. Yeah. Uh, probably Lyndon Johnson. It, it, it seemed that long at the time. Well, just sort of case in the joint. One night he was having a barbecue, and the fire wasn't hot enough. And you know what they did? No. They sent over to Martin Senor for some red paint and painted the ribs. How about that? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. That was Rutherford B. Hayes. That's right. Rutherford B. And his wife was Lemonade Lucy. There was no, there was no booze then in the White House. Is that right? That's right. Yes. Uh, have Mac McGarry tell you about it. He was here at the time. <laughs> yeah, Mac was uh, running around yelling, I don't care, I'll do anything, I'll do anything. <laughs> that was in 1894. He's still saying that. <laughs> yes, <right>? yes. <laughs> now he says, please, I'll right. do anything. No, we have this wonderful client, and they have the greatest paint in the world, Martin Senor. Now, you've heard of... Uh, various kinds of paints advertised all your life. You go into the doctor's office, you get a magazine, you know, Better Homes and Gardens for 1927, and you leaf through it, and there are all these paints, you know. But Martin Senor is perhaps the finest paint company in the world. At least we think so. Dyer Brothers think so. They carry the full line of Martin Senor paints. <clears throat> interior and exterior. For those of you who wish to paint, either your interior or your exterior. And Dyer Brothers Paint Stores would like to have you come in and take a look at this wonderful sample of paint. They they also have friends at Dyer Brothers. They also have a custom. You ready for this? Yeah. Custom framing department for your pictures, your old prints. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> and they also have a complete wallpaper supply department, <clears throat> and they have a complete art supply. Oh, department. wallpaper! Now we're back to the old Stein again. <laughs> <laughs> right up off against it. <laughs> Dyer Brothers Paint Store, and they. I understand that through Saturday, April 26. Uh, they have some azalea plants over there. Is that right, Ed? That's right, yes. Uh, there's just uh, <laughs> all sorts of specials coming up. Dyer Brothers. Uh, Why did they do that? This is their 75th anniversary sale they've got going over there. And uh, you get a gift with every gallon you purchase, of paint, that is. So why don't you stock up now the exclusive Williamsburg colors for your home, as Willard said, both inside and out. And they have azalea plants with each gallon you purchase of Martin Senor paint. How about that? Dyer Brothers. And there's no limit to uh, the number of plants. If your wife loves azalea plants, you can be up to here and paint before you know it. And it's long-lasting, easy to apply. It's, it's conceivable you could buy enough Martin Senor to last you forever over there now. And each plant is at least 12 inches high and has been, uh, uh, in this area, grown outdoors in the fields of uh, Maryland and Virginia. Isn't that folksy? And they're available to Dyer Brothers as a gift with each purchase of a gallon of Martin Senor interior or exterior paint. And this offer is at both Dyer Brothers paint stores. 1916 Wilson Boulevard in Arlington, just steps away from the Roslyn Business Center. And then uh, Seven Locks Road in Tuckerman Lane in the Cabin John Shopping Center of Rockville. Uh, they have them over there too. Uh, the Virginia store open uh, till 9 p.m. on Friday and until 2 p.m. on Saturday. And the Dyer Brothers store in the uh, Rockville area is open, let's see, 9 p.m. on Thursday and Friday and until 6 p.m. on Saturday. So get on over there to Dyer Brothers, please. Mark left while you were doing that, Ed. He, he said he couldn't wait around. Oh. But uh, <laughs> he said to say goodbye anyway. Yeah. Mark, you... Mark. Wake what? him up, Mark. What? what? <laughs> Gee, I didn't know I put you to sleep when somebody, I'm doing a commercial. Somebody say gallon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three and a half in front of nine, WRC Springtime here, Walker and Scott, the Joy Boys. Well, we want to thank Mark for coming over tonight. Uh, it's been a wonderful interview, Mark. <laughs> sort of like a loose meet the press here. <laughs> but we do have one final word before we say goodnight. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
Oh, there's more? There's another sponsor, Mark. Oh, who is that? We, You'll adore that last one was a little dull. I want to apologize for that. <laughs> I couldn't get well, too worked up about paint. that. That's why we're selling paint. You're supposed yeah. to spruce it up a little yeah. bit there. I don't know. I went out and painted the town. I've done that a few times. <laughs> now, this is your favorite Mexican restaurant. It's got to be. You mean... Yeah. Si, that's, you don't... Uh, yeah. That's right, senor. Oh, really? I want to talk about Tijuana it. Tijuana Needix. <laughs> <laughs> You know old TN. <laughs> Heartburn Heaven, we call it. Uh, affectionately known as... It is a place called Don Pedro. And he's in the Ebbett Hotel. Then he's sing with Harry, uh, Kay Kaiser, Harry Ebbett. Harry Ebbett. Oh, that was Ish K. One. Bevel. Yes. All them swingers. You remember, Mark, uh, last night. You weren't here, Mark. <clears throat> you should have come in last night because we had a whole Mexican dinner here last really? night. Really? Yeah. All the, uh, the, the tacos and the... Uh, oh, man. The, they brought the whole thing up. They have a the sauce. And everything. Yeah, they have Creole. a sauce over there, Mark. Uh, they have First of all, they have these things called tostados, which is like a... That's uh, a little uh, town. Yeah. <laughs> Tostado is like a, a, a Frito with a glandular that didn't condition. didn't make it. Yes. It's, uh, <laughs> and they have this, this sauce that they dip these in, and they call the sauce Green Death. And I will guarantee you, do you suffer from a sinus condition? Well, I tasted one of those. It tasted like it was dipped into that Martin Senior paint you were talking about. <laughs> That's, that's where they make their money on this right. show. We have a co-op buy. Martin Senior sells them all the paint for the uh, <laughs> tostados, was it? Tostados, sí. See. Well, they have, that's just one of the things they have at Don Pedro, and they also have, of course, the uh, nachos, which is a, a tostado with a little fancy sauce and topping on it. Uh, it's also a lyric from a song, remember, from Nachos? I know, you eat enough of those, you feel, you, right away you want to drive a Blue Bell cab. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Backwards. Do you ever get one of the, no matter where you want to go, you wind up in front of the Filipino embassy. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> Here it is, Charm. Step out, please. Like your step, lady. <laughs> Not much going on in there tonight, is there? Russell must be back. <laughs> <laughs> and Cato comes out and drives Kato, you back to Manila. Right, who, who's Filipino now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He used to be Japanese. Oh, that's right. me. Well, you were on the show for a while on another station, which we shall not mention. <laughs> 27A, I remember the cut. But you, uh, didn't you used to play trivia on that show? Oh, we did a lot of that, yeah. Yeah, we had the show with Bill Trumbull, who's better uh, at that than I am. In fact, he's he's better at announcing than I am. That's why he's still there, and I'm not. As a matter of fact. <laughs> but you moved on to bigger and better things. Radio Free Manassas now. <laughs> you know, trivia, though, it's just like uh, I listen to Granddad once in a while, and he's playing things of the 50s. See, trivia has moved up now. You can use the 50s. That's right. Really? That's right. Where it, it used to be the 30s. As a matter of fact, we're pretty we're trivia, too, now, this show, you know. <laughs> when you stop and think about it. Well, anyway, Don Pedro, we got to say, is in the Ebbett Hotel at 10th and H. I just want to get that in there. Right. I'm going down to buy some paint there in the morning. Okay. Swell. It's just about time to break for the news, Willard. Yeah, Willard. Oh, I'm way. You're yeah, Ed. Yeah, yeah Ed, right. 37 years old today, Ed. And we want to thank lot, Mark man. and uh, all of Hirsch our friends for coming by. And the staff of Rodell for coming in here tonight. I hope nobody... Uh, Nobody's cutting any spots down there tonight, I can tell. They're all up here. We are doing a whole lot up here, and we're supposed to be busy. WRC, WRC-FM, we'll see you in a few minutes on AM with more.